Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hello, people of the rap. Look, uh, I've got the Annals of Emergency Medicine here. I've got a little paper here. It's called A Prospective Study of Intramuscular Droperidol, or Alanzapine, for the Acute Agitation in the Emergency Department, a Natural Experiment Owing to Drug Shortages. Now, as you may know, droperidol, which back in the day when I was a real doctor, I used all of the droperidol. We used a lot for sedating agitated patients. And then came along Alanzapine, so people are using that. Which one's better? There's been some studies, hasn't shown much difference between the two. This is a 1,200 patient study, and it's interesting because it was prospective, and it was an observational study, which basically means uh, we gave it, and then we sort of wrote down what happened. And uh, in this study, they found that the droperidol and the olanzapine were about the same at about 15 minutes it took to sort of sedate these agitated patients, agitated mostly from alcohol intoxication, but there was a bit of meth, there was a bit of coke, there was a bit of marijuana in there. And the side effect profile was pretty good. A few more extra pyramidal effects in the droperidol group, but you also needed a bit more sedation sometimes in the olanzapine group. But overall, they both, both were pretty well, and uh, the side effect profile seemed pretty good. No bad things happened to these people. So there you go, 1,200 patients, pretty good study. Um, we like it. I love the uh, droperidol myself. Haven't used the olanzapine. If you're liking the olanzapine, this is saying it's fine. Droperidol a little bit faster. A little bit faster, but a little bit more extra pyramidal stuff, and less likely to use other drugs in this predominantly intoxicated group. Adults of Moon Smithson, Mel Herbert out. Bye for now.